Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Yakiwi, back with another review video. Today we are reviewing the Smart Art box, which was kindly gifted to me. I did a video on this box in the past, but today we are reviewing the July 2020 box. So let's not waste any time and hop right into that video. The price for one box for one month is $49.95. For three months, it's $142.95, which is about $47.65 per month. And for six months, it's $269.95, which is $44.99 per month. The package comes in a purple box with the logo on the top and the words Empower Creativity on the front. When you open the box, it's bright orange on top and has orange tissue paper around the products and bubble wrap at the bottom. Underneath the tissue paper are the products, an informational booklet, sticker, and candy. Inside the booklet features some information about the product of the month. This month, the box features charcoal, and it shares a brief history of the medium. On the remaining pages are a list of the products included, their prices, a quick start guide, and a skills challenge guide. On the back includes some tips for using charcoal and the Smart Art Weekly Challenge. The future product for this month is the Derwent Tinted Charcoal Set of Six. I've never used tinted charcoal pencils before, so it will be interesting to try it out for the first time today. The colors included in this set are Burnt Orange, Forest Pine, Ocean Deep, Peat, Lavender, and Natural. The next item is the Derwent Graphic Pencils that comes with six pencils ranging from 2H to 8B, a tin case, and a sharpener. The 5x7 inch paper pad included is by Legion and is made of 100% cotton, which is supposed to be an ideal surface for graphite, pastels, color pencils, and charcoal, which we will be using today. And the remaining items in this box are a set of Spectrum Noir art liners, a pack of blending stumps, and a small kneaded eraser by Faber-Castell. For the pros, the box definitely allows you to try new mediums or products. Because they feature different mediums every month, you get to try a variety of art supplies and maybe discover a new favorite. Especially during this time, when many people are at home, this box does allow for the convenience of being delivered to your door with all the supplies you need for a few projects. The supplies they include are full-sized and high quality, which I appreciate. I also like that they include the booklet, since it's full of information on the products and gives you tips on how to use them. And technically speaking, it is cheaper to purchase the box than all of the items individually. However, for the cons, the price of the contents in the box and the box itself doesn't seem to be a large difference. For this box specifically, the total for all the items was about $55. The price for one box is around $50 depending on which plan you choose. So I feel like you're not really saving that much money on a box. Of course, I think it depends on the box and the items because the value of the contents in the box varies on a monthly basis. If you enjoy getting surprised every month with new art supplies or you want to try new mediums, then I think this box may be for you. However, if you are someone who likes to pick and choose your art supplies, then I'd suggest passing on this box. The box was made to empower creativity and challenge artists to try new mediums, 
both of which I believe this box accomplishes. I hope you found this review useful or helpful in any way. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post a new video. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!